Dear friends, welcome to Help TV. In today's lecture, I will discuss the third important type of the flexible AC transmission device. Before going to uh, explain, before going to understand the basic working principle of the uh, thyristor controlled series thyristor controlled series compensator, let us understand why these compensators control the reactive power and why we are interested in reactive power control in, to uh, improve the stability of the power system. Okay. So the important thing is whenever the reactive power is in excess in power transmission network, then it means voltage swell. Voltage swell means voltage increase above the acceptable limit. On the other hand, whenever the transmission line in power system, reactive power is less, means voltage sag or under voltage condition. So if we control the reactive power, we can improve the voltage profile of the power system and we can improve the performance of the transmission network. So that's why we are interested in uh, reactive power control using the FEX devices to basically satisfy the increasing power demand it's very much important thing to understand. So uh, another type of the FEX device is thyristor controlled third type is thyristor controlled series compensator. Thyristor controlled series compensator is a series connected device which basically uh, vary the impedance of the transmission line to improve the power carrying capacity and to improve the um, voltage profile of the power transmission network to maximize the power carrying capability of the transmission lines. That's why this, system, this uh, series compensator is used. The basic working is it is basically consists of capacitor bank in parallel with the thyristor controlled reactor. The triggering angle of the thyristor controlled reactor decides whether it acts as an inductor or capacitor, whether it uh, generates the reactive power, absorb the reactive power, whether the under voltage condition or over voltage condition. Okay, the triggering angle decides. This is the triggering angle alpha. Okay. So there are two conditions. If the triggering angle, if the alpha is 180 degree, then the whole system is work as a capacitor and uh, generate a reactive power. Generate reactive power. On the other hand, when alpha is 90 degree, it act as an inductor and uh, absorb the reactive power. I will use, uh, I am using the um, most of the things uh, abbreviation. So uh, understand and then that uh, I, I am saying in the video. So this is the basic thing that you know that if alpha is 180 degree, then it, the whole system is like the capacitor provide the reactive power and eliminate the over voltage con uh, uh, under voltage condition. On the other hand, when it act as a uh, inductor, it uh, basically absorb the reactive power and eliminate the over voltage condition. So that's why we are interested in fax devices to improve the stability of the power system. All of the types have different advantages and disadvantages that we will uh, basically uh, discussing. So the advantage of this system is, this system is a simple system. Response is fast, generate less harmonics, and uh, uh, generate less harmonics, but disadvantages are used for the power factor correction, and limitations are, it is uh, due to the high impedance, losses of the transmission lines are increased, and control system is required, and protection is required uh, against the faults. 
So this is the third type of the flexible AC transmission device. In next lecture, uh, I will discuss the advanced technology to in uh, in fax devices that is commonly used for the transmission uh, that is commonly used for the improve stability improvement of the power system and uh, in, in other words improve the performance of the power system and power carrying capacity of the power system till then uh, we will discuss uh, all of these uh, concepts about the uh, four type of the fax device we will discuss in next lecture till then stay blessed stay inspired thanks for watching